Hi, welcome back to Graphic Island YouTube channel. I am Abul Mansoor. Today we are going to discuss about Expand Tool. Why Expand Tool is necessary to apply it in our design. You might have heard about text outline. Expand Tool also works similar to text outline. Suppose you design something and you send to your client. If your client computer does not have the same font on his or her computer, the designs may vary over there. You may not get the same result. So some designers, what they do, they used to send the font to their client and ask them to install on their computer and then open the design. So to avoid those things, if you do expanding directly, then those issues you will not face any anymore. So this is the reason why we need to do the expanding. So let's go to the computer. Let's draw a shape here. So from the toolbar by using rectangular tool, I'll make a rectangle here. And now I'll drag the points and make it little bit round. And let me make it duplicate by using Alt key, just dragging it. Now, if you select this one, you'll see the four corner points here. Similarly, when you'll select this one, you'll see the same things. Uh, let me change the color of the second object. And now, let me select this one and remove this transformation. How to remove this transformation? So from here, you need to unite it whenever you do the transformation. So this object does not have any transformation corner points here but this one is having. Let me make a duplicate of this one and place it here. So this one is having rounding corner points, but this one is not having any transformation rounding corner points. So when I'll drag it down, you'll see the difference. So when I drag it down, you can see that transformation was happened because this object was already having transformation. That's the reason the shape changes here. And this one does not have any transformation points. That's why it remains the same. Let's create another shape here. So I'll make a square this time. And let me give outline to this shape. So I'll select this outline option and give this outline color and increase the stroke from here. I'll change the black color to this. Now let me duplicate of this one by using Alt key. I'm making it duplicate. So after making duplicate, if you drag it down, what will happen? You can see the outline becomes bigger because the outline size remains seven and the inside shape becomes smaller. So if I drag it more, still the outline remains same, 7, and the shape changes. Here also, outline remains same and the shape. In this case, we need to do the expanding here. Or else, when you'll send your file to your client, when he will drag it down, uh, he will get the bad result like this. The outlines becomes bigger, shape becomes smaller, and it will give a very bad result and he might be shouting at you. So how to do the expanding? Go to object, expand it. After expanding, the shape is converted to object. And now if you drag it down, both will remain constant. If the shape becomes smaller, the outline will also become smaller because it converted into object. Let me show you about the text. Why we need to do the text outline? Let me here write something A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C, D we have written here. And let me change the font. Suppose I am applying font. This is the font I am applying here. But this is not necessary that your client computer will have the same font. If he does not have the same font, then he will not get the same result here. What you are 
watching here, he, he may not find the same result in his computer. To avoid this issue, some graphic designer usually used to send font along with delivery files. But this is a bad practice. So let me make a duplicate first and I'll apply both. Uh, usually it will give the same result. Suppose I'm selecting this one uh, object and doing expanding here. And similarly, I'm selecting here. You see the difference between after expanding how it looks like and uh, before expanding how it looks like. You may not see the difference here. Can you see the underline here? But here you will not see the extra underline here. After expanding the text or outlining the text, the text no longer in font format. It will convert it to object. So hope you understand how to do that. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this tutorial, you can do support Graphic Island by doing like, share and subscribe. Thank you.